So this story comes from Florida, and it's about a Tallahassee police officer named Charles Hansford, who has been fired after a confrontation at a jail. And so apparently Charles Hansford thinks it's okay to get handcuffed suspects and then beat them up. Then other, then, and then other officers had to intervene to stop this man from assaulting a handcuffed suspect who was defenseless. If someone has handcuffs uh, on their wrist and their, and, their, and their hands are behind their back and you're beating them, you are beating a defenseless person. And even in, in, the, in, the, in the UFC or Miss Martial Arts, I can tell you for a fact, you can't even do that there. So why in the world does a police officer think that's okay is beyond me? And so in a posted statement on Facebook, the Tallahassee Police Department has said that officers were transporting a man to jail who was accused of driving while under the influence and causing the crash. And so there was a heated exchange between Hansford and the suspect. And Hansford decided that it was okay to, once again, assault a handcuffed man. And that shows you, once again, that this kind of stuff was happening all the time and that after the wake of George Floyd and some of the racial um, the racial justice protests, now all of a sudden we are getting more disclosure on this because of channels like this and viewers like you. And shout out to the other officer who intervened and de-escalated because that's what this officer should have did from the start. And there were no injuries reported. And so Hansford was placed on administrative leave after the incident because, you know, after seeing the video footage, the department says, mm, this might not look good. This might cause a riot. So uh, he was terminated. And so according to the police chief, who is Lawrence Revelle, he says that we hold the men and women who wear this uniform to the highest standards. That's bullshit. Trust me. That's bullshit. He's just saying that. We take incidents like this very seriously and will hold those who violate the department's policies responsible. That is neither here or there. I, I think that the reason why you're holding this officer responsible is because of challenges like this and 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 people putting the pe people putting pressure to police. And Hansford has been with the department since 2020. So this story goes, goes to show you that once again, we are we are seeing the aftermath of the George Floyd decision, and we are seeing the aftermath of what happens when the American people says enough is enough.